Can you hear that? That's my guinea pig. One second, he wants food. BRB. I just do it my way. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a story time video. This story time I actually mentioned in one of my last videos. It's going to be how I could have died hiking. I don't know. Does this plant bug you guys? I kind of like it there. Look, it's in a cute block box. Also, I've done all my videos in like different settings, different backgrounds. Let me know if you like it changing all the time or if you're like, what the heck, Destiny? Please just stay in one spot. I do not like this. But yeah, let me know. Anyway, let's get the story started. So this happened exactly about maybe like one week more than a year ago. So a little bit more than a year ago. It was actually just in my Snapchat memories like a week ago from a year ago. So yeah, it happened about a year ago. My friend lives in Texas and he came out here to LA so you know we can hang out he stayed with me for about four days anyway his last day it all starts in the morning we woke up and I was going to take him to the airport took him to the airport drove all the way back home and I get a FaceTime and he's like hey I missed my flight and I was like what and he was like yeah I missed my flight <laughs> anyway which felt really bad he was gonna make it on home at, he was gonna make it home just on time to finish one of his finals and he missed his final I still feel guilty about that a year later anyway so I went all the way back to pick him up and since it was his last day it was like 5 in the morning when I had to drop him off at the airport maybe like 4 30 actually so we came home and went to sleep woke up and we were like let's go hiking he never seen the Hollywood sign so I was like let's go hiking to the Hollywood sign so we got ready went to the Hollywood sign, right? It was the beginning, like, it was still kind of bright outside. It's like an hour hike, kind of still bright outside, but like the sun was gonna start to set soon. We were like, okay, let's try to get to the top by sunset so that way, you know, it'll look really pretty. We'll be able to see the sunset. It's gonna be an amazing view. We really wanted to see that during sunset. So we hiking, hike, 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 rush, rush, all the way to the top. And we made it there like to see the last 10 minutes of sunset. Oh my God, it was so pretty. So we got to the top and we're like, oh, it's so pretty. Let's stay up here and watch it till the sun ends, right? So there was two other people by the time we got up there, but they left. So we were up there by ourselves for maybe about 10, 15 minutes. So we're like, okay, it's dark now. It looks really pretty. Um, let's start heading down though. And so... We start heading down, right? Walking, walking, walking. Everything's chill, listening to music. Still sad he misses final, but you know, cool experience. Anyway, we got about halfway down, and this sounds like a happy story so far, right? This is where everything starts to go wrong. We're like turning some corner, and you see these two like shadows, and I was like, oh my god, like those are coyotes or wolves or whatever they are, probably coyotes but they were big and he was like no those are just dogs those are just dogs and I was like no those are not dogs like there was mind you there was no one around it was pitch dark mountains do not have lights um it was pitch dark and I was scared I was like oh my god no like and it was just us two so I was like oh my god no like those are coyotes or wolves they're gonna eat us we're gonna die and then they kind of just froze so we were like kind of like slowly we're walking and then they like went down and he was like no, they're, they're just dogs, let's go, let's go. And I was like, oh my God, like so scared, but whatever. Like I didn't want to separate, you know? So we were walking towards them and we got around the corner and, sorry, this is my window right here and my window is the front of the house. So there's a car right there and he could see me. Anyway, so we got around the corner and they disappeared. We see no owner and around that corner you can see like a lot of the trail still so i was like uh, uh no way those are dogs they went like down into the mountain into the tree area and i was like and he looked at me and he's like oh like they were and i was like so scared like oh my god i was freaking out so we're like we need to go fast you know turn on the free music so we can be quiet it's pitch quiet you hear all the crickets you hear like 
all the sand like under our feet when we were walking it's a dirt trail so we keep walking keep walking keep walking keep walking me and your aunt, mind you when we were walking up there was two splits right so we had to go left and left there's two splits so we get to the first split we're going the right way and then we get to the second split and we're like which way do we go and i was like and we were like i don't know we were both kind of like okay we can go this way we can go this way so when we started going to the left and it, then it turned to cement we're like we didn't walk up cement we walked up um dirt the whole way so then we're like oh, we're lost we went the wrong way and then we found these other people this group of like four people who were going the same way as us and they looked kind of lost so we stopped and we tried to talk to them we were communicating but they did not speak english and we did not speak what they spoke so we were just trying to communicate and we kind of just figured out like hey let's stay together let's try to find this so we were walking with these people so now we went from group of two to a group of six as we were going that way these two people were coming back the other way and they're like no guys like where are you trying to go to and we told them and they're like us too this is the wrong way this is to the griffith observatory like don't go that way you're going the wrong way so we were like ah oh. so we became now a group of eight so we all turned around to go the wrong way and we're like how like all of us missed the split right because it was like a sharp dark turn so we start walking all together all together like walking fast because when you go in there's signs on the gates that say like these gates will close at sunset mind you it was already dark but the time had just changed to where it gets dark early so we're like Hopefully, you know, they keep it open. They probably don't shut it. They're probably just signs there. They don't really shut it. So we're just walking in our group of eight trying to find the split that we missed, right? And me and my friend, you know, like I had my arm like wrapped around his arm because one, we were in the dark. I didn't know these people and I was already scared thinking that wolves were going to like pop up out of nowhere. And so like I was, I started whispering to him. I was like, hey, like if coyotes or wolves come, they're going to try to eat us, right? <laughs> he was like, oh my God, but like kind of scared too and I was like okay so they're gonna try to eat us I doubt they're gonna outnumber us because we're eight people now so we don't have to try and outrun the coyotes we just have to try and outrun the other people and he looked at me and I looked at him and I was like I'm being dead serious I'm not dying tonight <laughs> and then we both just started laughing and I was like I'm sorry it is what it is survival of the fittest boy <laughs> oh I was ready to outrun those people like sorry guys i know that probably sounds bad but uh me and him were like the youngest people so they already had a longer life than us anyway we need more time to live anyway so we keep walking 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 and then finally we find this way and we see where like the split is but we only see the way going back up and we're like what the heck man like all eight of us were like how are we supposed to get back down like we're so confused do we have to go back up more like it's dark no one could hear us there's no lights like what's happening we're gonna be stranded we don't have reception we're on a mountain and people's phones are dying and then finally like i walk walk and i and we walk and walk and like look around the corner and i was like here it is you know like we finally saw the split like we were literally at that like conjunction for like five minutes like not even seeing it and it was like right in front of us so we're like okay okay and i was like looking at him and we we're like hey i might not have to outrun these people i might not have to outrun these people we might all get to live tonight <laughs> oh my god i'm so bad guys like i'm so bad like if it was my family you know or my friends i would die for you but like strangers I haven't met Beyonce yet. I haven't met Beyonce yet, so I can't die yet. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, so we walk and then we all started booking and booking it. Me and my friend and then the other two that we found earlier in the story that were coming back this way. But the group before they were just taking their time, taking the time, you know, we couldn't explain to them like that we saw wolves because we didn't understand each other. Anyway, we're like, we're so then we like kinda we're like, oh my god, like they're behind. We didn't really want to split up from them, but you know, we weren't trying to die. So we turn around and we're like, hey guys, like pointing like this is the way, this is the way, this is the way. And then they were just like, oh, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, okay, like they understand what we're saying. So we're like, okay, bye. So me and my friend and these other this other two couple, we were like walking, 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 walking super fast. And then finally we got to the gate, we saw the parking lot. You guys don't understand how happy I was to see that freaking parking lot. I was like, oh, it's so beautiful. We got there and we literally see the security guards locking the gates. And then they like shine their lights. Like, you guys need to hurry. You're not supposed to be in here at this time. Like, and we were like, sorry. Like, oh my God, we got lost, whatever. So we 
run run get to her car and i was like there's still people in there there's still people in there like they were just like they were mad really they were like hurry up hurry up hurry up I was like, okay like those four people they better hurry up because they were moseying strolling going slow so um, i wonder if they ever got out or if they got locked in there if the security waited i don't know hopefully they waited but yeah long story short almost died so some coyotes could have got eaten got lost ran into two other groups that were lost, became a big group, decided that I would just have to outrun them and not the coyotes. But yeah. And there it is. Oh, and on top of all that, my friend missed his final, so. Sorry, I still feel bad to this day. Point of the story, if we ever get lost in the middle of nowhere and you're with me, I hope you're not a stranger and you're someone that I actually know because I will want to outrun you. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that is the end of this story. Have you guys had any crazy hiking experiences ever? I know I will never, ever, ever go hiking at night again. Like, as soon as I see the sun setting, I'm turning around and going back. Like, mm-mm, I'm not doing that again. It's too dark, too scary. I'm not trying to die. Haven't met Beyonce yet. Leave in the comments any crazy hiking experiences you've had. Have you guys ever gone hiking at all? Do you have any favorite hiking trails? Any good hiking experiences? I've had good ones, but that was just a crazy one. But yeah, anyway, here I am, alive. Thankful to be alive. Still get the chance to meet Beyonce. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on in my next video on Tuesday. Love you guys. Stay yellow.